looking at soil retention rates, we're going to be looking at porosity and percolation. So the porosity is how much uh, water can be hold within the soil um, pores, and the percolation rate is how quickly water moves through it. So we're going to be using two different types of soils. We're going to be using gravel, which is a thicker, a larger size particle, and we'll also be looking at sand. Now the reason why we're using these two is so that we can actually have data that we get in a timely manner. If we were to use sand and clay, the clay would be taking way too long. So we're going to use these and we're going to extrapolate it out to compare sizes. So I'm going to start with the gravel. So I've got our gravel in a cup and I'm going to pour 100 milliliters of water into this sample. The water is going to move through and it's going to come out holes at the bottom. So we're going to time how long it takes for the 100 milliliters of water to move through. And then we're going to calculate how much water is actually trapped in the soils. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. Okay, ready? One, two, and go. So I'm going to wait till I can only see a drip coming out. So I've got a little bit of drips, and we're going to be consistent with the drips, and you can stop your time. 16.76 seconds. All right, 16.76 seconds, and we'll record our data on the whiteboard and turn that around when we're done. Okay, so now I'm going to measure how much water I collected because we know we started with 100 milliliters of water, and I have water that was able to move right through. So the difference will be the water that's retained in our sample in those pore spaces. So it's either looked at as retention percent or porosity. So the water that I have left that made through and went through the sample is 48 milliliters. So 48 milliliters of water made it through the sample. So now I'm going to do the same experiment with sand. So I'm going to pour 100 milliliters of water through our sand sample. We're going to see how long it takes to get through and then measure the amount of water I'm collecting in my tray. Okay, ready? One, two, and go. So right off the bat, I can see that there's water pooling on the surface where I didn't see that in our gravel sample. But now the water is starting to move down through and I can see some drips starting to come out. So I'm going to wait for the same amount of um, rate of drips as I did with my gravel to keep it consistent. And we're going to see how much water is trapped within the pore samples. So I'm going to stop time. 33.23 seconds. 33.23 seconds. And we're going to see how much water I was able to collect. And we can collect 14 milliliters of water. So the remaining is trapped in the pores of our sand sample.